All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yah by Shem Yahushai and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And um, a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out there uh, doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Um, this is Taj Warrior from GMS Baltimore. And um, I want to go through Romans 8. Um, I went on YouTube and I saw a lot of these prosperity um so-called churches or whatever going through uh this specific chapter you know and breaking it down uh completely wrong you know but um i wanted to to because it's, it's, it's real spiritual you know with this uh with this lesson right here uh romans 8 you know so i'll try to uh make it uh as short and sweet as possible you know but um here we go uh there is no, there is therefore, Romans 8 and 1, there is therefore no, I mean now no condemnation to them which are in Yahawashah, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Yahawashah has made me free from the law of sin and death. Now, Yahawashah didn't come to do away with the laws. You know, um, you got pe people out here like Creflo Dollar who sit up here and say that uh, the laws are done away with, you know, even the Ten, ten uh, Commandments. Where, where these people, they don't even understand the, the Bible, you know. Like the Ten Commandments, for example, it says, don't use the Lord's name in vain. You know, so now, like, you're trying to tell me that we could just c consider the, the Lord's name as worthless? You know, it says don't commit adultery. You know, so now you're trying to say that we commit adult, we could commit adultery. You know, don't murder. So now it's okay to 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 murder. You know, so that's not what that's talking about, right? Now, if you continue to read a little bit longer, because they they don't do that. You know, and they don't go precept upon precept, right? But it say for what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, the Most High which is Yahweh, sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, right? Now, Yahweh sent Yahweh Shah, his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, you know, to, uh, to, to, to be an example, you know what I'm saying? Like he is the perfect example. You know it for everything. But when he sent his son, okay, like, that was the example that the elect would have to follow, you know, to the best of our abilities. You know, of course, we're going to go off, uh, you know, here or there, you know, but we try our best, you know what I'm saying, to please the, please the Lord, right? Whereas though, like, back then, uh... One one of the laws of uh, sacrifice. Well, we had to do the sacrifice right with the lamb, and uh, you had wicked people who figured that okay, I could just sacrifice uh, this lamb and that's good. Whereas though, like that's not making you more uh, spiritual, you know. So uh, the thing is, like once you come into this this truth. You start realizing the way what you, you, you take on that, that, that same type of uh burden that Yahweh Shah took on. You know, it's trying to be a righteous man, you know. But I'm gonna continue. It say the most high, which is Yahweh, sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Okay, like 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 following that, that example of Yahweh Shai, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Okay, like so once you like like I said, like you had people who would, you know, commit adultery the same way people do now. You know what I'm saying? Like they sit up there and they just straight shit on Yahweh Shai's death. You know, and they basically be like, Well, I repent it. Like what you repent from? Like you still going out here and, and getting uh tattoos you know what i'm saying or you know you you, you commit an adultery or, or or eating pork you know 
But it says uh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So it's like, okay, now America, which is Babylon, you know, uh, they put pork in everything, you know, like we can't, uh, if you knowingly eat pork, like you're being wicked, you know, but we can't, uh, we try our best, you know what I'm saying? But um, I'm going to keep going. And say, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Okay, like one of the things when you come into this, right? This truth is that like we try to reach out the elect. That's the only people that we, we want. You know, we don't care about these two thirds. The, law, the Bible says in Zechariah, let me get that right fast. Zechariah thirteen and eight. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So two th two thirds of Israelites are going to be cut off and die or killed, you know. Um but I'm going to continue because the thing is that uh, when you come into this, when you come into this, right, we try to reach the elect, you know, and, and, and the, the, the people that's going to get it, the people that the Lord uh, chose, you know, because the scripture says many are called, but few are chosen, you know. So it's going to be a lot of people out here, you know, that don't have the faith. You know, that, that, that aren't trying to endure into the end. You know, that the, the Lord is going to weed those people out. You know, but it says, but they that, I mean, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit, you know, uh, we're not after the people that, it's, I'm, I'm going to read it again, Romans 8 and 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. So, the thing, one of the things that the spirit world is trying to get at is that, like, help me, helping a brother out, you know what I'm saying, that's trying to do the right thing, you know? Like, we try to help those people out, you know, and lead them on that straight path, you know, to salvation. That's one of the things that profits you, you know? But I'm going to continue. It say, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Okay, like that's one of the reasons why when you hanging around the the the, the Akim, which is the brethren, you know, like when y'all hanging around each other, like for for me personally, before I came into the truth, you know, like I had people around me who like I was trying to do the right things, but these niggas was, you know, st stuck in their ways. You know, wanting to always be a nigga. You know, until I met, you know, some some brothers, you know, and 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 even though I'm going through hell, you know, all the I'm I'm pretty sure, you know, all of the elect, you know, this this whole American society is hell. You know what I'm saying? We're born into this, you know. But as soon as I met some decent brothers, you know what I'm saying, some good brothers, you know, that's when my life started being a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Because they helped. Uh, get that hell off of me and to see that those brothers are trying to do the right thing you know what I'm saying like that's beautiful you know what I'm saying and that's peaceful but um like like I said like those those other niggas like they wanted to to run trains on females you know they uh they don't care about uh uh their life you know what I'm saying they don't fear the Lord you know what I'm saying? They just strictly, they're not even spiritual. The, the thing is that they just so stuck in their ways. And those ways are going to be, the, 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 ends of, the end of those ways is death. But I'm going to continue. Uh, Romans 8 and 7. But the carnal mind is, is enmity against the Most High. Okay? Now... The Lord, you know, like, like he doesn't, uh, it, it, the, the scripture says that there are ways that, uh, seem right to a man, 
you know, but the end way, I mean, the, the end of those ways are, are death, you know, and, and when you, when you're not trying to be spiritual, you know, like the most high doesn't like that, you know, uh, it say for it is, it is not subject to the law of the most high, neither indeed can be, you know, so one of the things that, you know, like being carnally minded, you know, like these niggas out here, they, um, they, they, they deal with another man's woman, you know what I'm saying, and think that that's cool, you know what I'm saying, like that's being carnally minded because they just thinking like, okay, I can just get a piece of a butt, you know, like, and, and that's all cool, the Lord ain't, they don't even, they're not even worried about the end of it, you know, the Lord ain't gonna touch me, you know, they don't even, they don't even have faith or trust or believe in it, they're heathens, basically, so, the thing is, like, uh, all of us at the at the end of that day, you know, before we came into the truth, we was heathens, you know, and and now, once you come into this 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 truth, you know, you start seeing things from a whole total different point of view, you know what I'm saying, and it, and it, and it starts bringing you to life, like, with, when that scripture said that uh that the uh. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace, you know. That ties in with Ezekiel thirty-seven, you know, with the uh, the coming together of the bones, you know what I'm saying. The law being uh, in you, you know what I'm saying. And you start trying to do what the Most High want from you, you know, and and not leaning on your own understanding. Um, Romans eight and eight. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the most high you know like the tattoos you know what i'm saying all of these these things out here it's all sin you know but ye are not in the flesh but in the spirit if so be that the spirit of the most high dwell in you now if any man have not the spirit of of yahweh shah he is none of his so like a lot of these people you know like like non-believers, non-messianics, um, they act like Yahweh Shah wasn't a righteous man, you know, he kept the law, you know, and he, he went by the Old Testament, you know, he didn't do away with no, uh, no laws, and, and guess what, he gave all praises to Yahweh, you know, like, he even told him, he even told, uh, people himself, like, hey, I'm not good, you know, but, in Romans 8, it'll go deeper into that, you know. They say, now, if any man have not the spirit of the Most High, he is none of his, right? That's a two-third for you, you know. And if uh, Yahweh Shai be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit of, um, but the spirit is life because of righteousness, Okay. But if the spirit of him that raised up Yahweh Shah from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Yahweh Shah from the dead shall also quicken, I mean, shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you. So the thing is, right, that of course, like when Yahweh Shah, you know, died, you know, for the elect, you know, was, was, was put on the cross, you know, he didn't want to, to, to go on the cross. But it was all spiritual. And Yahweh Shah knew that he came for a purpose, you know. And while we're here on this earth, we're, we're here for a purpose, you know. And we have to fulfill those this purpose, you know. Like, uh, of course, you know, we're human, you know. And and no, none of us are perfect, but we try our best for the Lord, you know what I'm saying. Whether it's uh, going out there, you know what I'm saying, on the highway and hedges, you know what I'm saying. Um, any it's feeding the sheep, you know what I'm saying, edifying the elect, you know what I'm saying. These are things that you know, like like once you come into this, you know, like you start uh realizing, like you start trying, you stop being carnal minded, you know, you stop uh doing certain things. Like if you're you're, you're a man, of course. Grow your beard, you know, to the best of your ability. Some people can't grow their beards, you know. 
some people do the laws and uh not in in a different way but it's to the point where like like what with, with the sabbath day you know what i'm saying like trying to get the rest you know and, and, and studying one of the main things you know what i'm saying going deeper into the word you know but um and, and applying it to your life you know that's one of the things when 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 you when you get that spirit you know what i'm saying the holy spirit you know what i'm saying you start cleansing yourself you start letting go of your past and you start being a better man. You start wanting, wanting to willfully, you know, die for this, you know, because this is, this is, you know, that important, you know what I'm saying? But, um, therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you, through the spirit, do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. Okay, like like a lot of people like like going into the lust, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people be wanting to get the tattoos, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like or oh, or oh, do stupid stuff, you know what I'm saying, in general, you know, that they can't even uh they can't even explain the certain things that they do, you know. Like they just oh I, I can get a I can get a tattoo, you know what I'm saying, because I want to, you know. But it's like your body isn't yours, you know. Once you get the, the once you come into this truth, your if you of the elect, your body is no longer yours. It's not even yours in the beginning, you know. But once you realize your purpose, you know, that we're just vessels, you know what I'm saying, for your high by Shim that's when you start being more spiritual. Um, Romans 8 and 14. For as many are led. I mean for as many as are led by the spirit of the most high. They are the sons of the most high. Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So like I said like the brethren. You know the ones that's out here trying to do the right thing. Being righteous. You know what I'm saying. For as many is are led by the spirit of the most high they are the sons of Yahweh you know so like I said like once I came into the truth I started being around guys who was on the same page you know starting to try to want to be with Yahweh went from them you know what I'm saying for you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. So the thing is, right? Like, once you come into this, okay? Like, and, and, and you realize, okay, you, you go from that, that, that heathen stage, and you start doing what Yahweh Basim Yahweh wants from you, okay? Like, you, you start realizing the hell that's out here in this world you know like you start seeing like dag you know like it, this, this America is really is fucked up even though a lot of Akim out here you know they realize that America is fucked up from the beginning you know what I'm saying they just have to get that structure that foundation which comes from the only way you're going to get that is from the Bible you know but but once you uh, come into this you start realizing like the only way like I can find happiness, or the only thing that can fill that void in my life is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, like nothing out here, not no woman, you know, not your mother, nobody, nothing out here is going to be able to help you, you know, uh, be more spiritual, you know, other than Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, and Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah set up the apostles, a great millstone, you know what I'm saying, who I believe. To be men of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? And it don't even matter what I believe, you know, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah set that up. You know? They're prophets, you know what I'm saying? And they, those elders, you know, they been doing his work longer than I've been born. You know? So of course it's double honest to them, you know, because they've been doing this work, you know what I'm saying, and staying in this, and then they're being brotherly, brotherly, you know. But um I'm going to continue. It says, The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. So, like I said, like I, I, I bear witness that Elder, the Apostle Elder Tahar, Aramlah, 
Rakar, Gabar, and all the other apostles out there, you know, they're all, you know, the children of the Most High, you know, and I believe that they are the elect, you know, but, um, even, even the, the, the Akim from GMS Baltimore, the Akim out there in GMS, period, you know, of course the Lord got to shift some, some guys out, you know, you know, that, that, that aren't trying to be, be right, like I said, many are called, but few are chosen, you know, but we got to make sure that our calling and election is sore. It say, and if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shah. If so, be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Right? So, like, when Yahweh Shah returns, you know, like, the, 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 the guys, the people that's in the spirit, you know what I'm saying, trying to uh, do the right thing, you know, the rewards are, you know, the same for everybody. You know, and it's it's plenty of scriptures, you know, that they go over that, uh, like Matthew uh, 20, you know, goes over the, the, uh, the uh, it don't matter how long you've been in it, you know what I'm saying, uh, or how little you've been in it, you know what I'm saying, or, or what your, uh, your lot is, you know, like if the Lord called you and, 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 and and you're chosen, you know, don't matter what you, what your reward is going to be your reward. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a righteous reward. You know, it's not going to be some, uh, oh, I've been in it this long, you know, if longer than him. And I've been keeping the law longer than, like, we're not justified by the law, you know. But at the same time, we got to establish this law, you know, because this law is righteousness. It say, uh. For I reckon that the sufferings of the present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So it don't matter like if you if you're going through hell, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep that spirit. You know, cause this whole entire uh these scriptures are, you know, uh put out there, you know, so that you can be more spiritual, have more faith. You know, and, and the scripture says that faith without works is dead, you know. So, like, with, with, with having the faith, you establish the law, you know. But you know that that, that having a, 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 trying to establish the law is not going to get you to salvation, you know, if you don't have faith. So, everything just ties into, into, uh, into play, you know. So, so, whatever you go through, you know what I'm saying, you're, you're suffering... Your long suffering, you know, you 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 enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? You not not enjoy it. You know, but but if you're a spiritual man, you know, like like going out on the highways and, and hedges. You know, we we this body is not ours. You know, so we have to realize that the the um the end results of of this suffering is being joint heirs with Yahweh Shah. Now. In the scriptures, it says Yahweh Shah is going to be the head of the 144,000, you know. We're, Yahweh Shah is the king, you know. The 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 Yahweh set up Yahweh Shah, you know what I'm saying, to be the, the, the example, the greatest example for how we're supposed to be. You know, once you get what you're supposed to do, you know, you, you get them commandments that are given to you from the scriptures, you know. You you start trying your best to to be what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Sha wants from you, you know, and 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 that that don't that of course when you try to do what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Sha wants from you, and you compare it to living in this American society, you know, it's all suffering, you know, but we gotta go through that, you know, like whatever whatever we gotta go through, you know, like Yahweh Sha went through it, you know. Like, and, 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 and when I say he went through it, you know, being a righteous man, you know, he had people that uh, ridiculed him or tried to ridicule him every day, you know. He uh, died, you know what I'm saying, uh, from wicked, wicked people, you know. Um, and he put his life on the line, you know what I'm saying. And he loved his, his brothers, you know. He was spiritual. He's the, the perfect example of what you're supposed to try to be, you know. So, I'm going to continue. Romans 8 and 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature 
waits for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. For the creature was made to subject, I mean, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. For we know that the whole creation groans and travails and pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan, groan within ourselves, waiting for the abduction to wit the redemption of our body. Right? So, like, one of the things also is that, like, we're, we're not just being saved from Edomites, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or America in, in general, but ourselves, you know. We got to try to try our best to be righteous as possible, you know, and, and wait for that, you know, because, like, of course, we have those things, those thoughts all the time, you know, like, like, like brothers get rebuked, you know, and, and, and of course, like, if you were, if you had to elect, you know, like, yeah, yo, uh, endure whatever is given to you, you know what I'm saying, um, but, like, people would get rebuked, you know, and, and, and don't understand where it's coming from, you know, whether it's wrongfully or whatever, you know, but people would get rebuked and open up their mouths, you know, the moment that you open up your mouth, that's when that pride comes out, you know, we supposed to, you know, if you get rebuked, just shut your mouth, you know, and just keep it moving, you know, what we, what we working, working for, towards here, are we working towards trying to, uh, make a, a a name for ourselves in a temporary society that's going to get destroyed or are we going to look for that everlasting name in that incorruptible crown crown salakia um for we are saved by hope but hope that is seen not i mean but hope that is seen is not hope for what a man sees why does he yet hope for right that's like Okay, like, like, uh, polite, you know, he, 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 uh, he, he's into the things that he can see, you know, it's like, but what does he have hope for? You know, like, is he hoping that Kemet comes back into, uh, power or is he, um, I don't, do, do, don't be job Egyptologist. They don't have anything, any hope. They're done. You know, but the thing is, we're not, um, one of the things about being spiritual, you know what I'm saying, is that, that is seeing Yahweh side come, you know, on them clouds, you know what I'm saying, to, 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 to redeem us, you know, whether you see it or not with your own two eyes, but knowing that that kingdom is to come, you know, because that's something that we're fighting for. It's all spiritual. Um, but if we hope for that we see not then we i mean then do we with patience wait for it like i said like no matter what you gotta what you gotta do you know what i'm saying being spiritual if you get caught up in a fema camp you know what i'm saying with patience you know what i'm saying you you gotta believe with within your yourself your heart you know what i'm saying which is your with your mind you know what i'm saying that your house side is gonna come and save you you know what i'm saying and be patient you know they say uh, Romans 8 and 26. Likewise, the spirit also helps our infirmities. Okay. Hold on. Now, I say uh, the Greek word for infirmities is. Strong's G769. Asthenia. Which means want of strength, weakness, infirmity of the body. It is native weakness and frailty, feebleness of health or sickness of the soul. Want of strength and capacity requisite to understand a thing, to do things great and glorious, to restrain corrupt desires, to bear trials and troubles. 
okay now as you can as you can clearly see that this is all spiritual likewise the spirit also helps with our infirmities so whether you sick you're going through hell you know what i'm saying you want to uh you 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 uh got a got a precept in your mind but you don't understand what it what it what it what it uh what it understand what it what it means you know what i'm saying the lord is going to open up that you know what i'm saying and when you had that spirit you know or or the spirit you start trying to lean on your how by sim your side and your how by sim your side if you have faith in him he's going to help you out whether it's to 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 heal you or to deliver you out of whatever your situation may be. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself makes intercession for us with groaning which cannot be uttered. And he that searches the hearts knows what is the what is the mind of the Spirit. Okay? Because he makes intercession for for the saints according to the will of Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah. So the Lord knows your, your spirit, you know, and your, your mind, you know. So, like, if you're trying to be spiritual and you're trying to do what he wants from you, you know, nothing is going to be able to hold you back. It's all spiritual. It says, uh, Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the most high. So whatever you go through, the how the Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is gonna bless you. You know, if you are of the of, of his elect, you know what I'm saying, whether it's coming from this side or in the kingdom, you know, he's gonna bless you. you regardless you, you be long suffering, be patient, you know, keep his laws and do what he wants from you. It's all spiritual. And I'm gonna continue. Uh, to them who are called according to his purpose, which is the elect, and trying to do what he wants from you. For whom he did foreknow, he did also predestine, predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. So the thing is, like I said, Yahweh Shah is the greatest example, you know. And once you come into this truth, you start realizing, okay, Yahweh Shai did many great things, you know? So we start trying to conform ourselves and trying to do the same type of things that Yahweh Shai did, you know? As far as keeping the law, you know, um, studying, you know what I'm saying? Being, I'm, I'm going into the, the, the scriptures, you know, and devoting yourself to Yahweh Shai, you know, going out there on the highway and hedges, you know? Being a brother to the elect, these are all things you know that you can look at Yahweh Shah and see. Okay, the things that he did was great. You know, it said that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified them he also glorified so like i said one of the things also you know is if you got uh rebuked wrongfully you know like you shut your mouth you know and the lord will justify you at the end of the day you know and then it ain't gonna come from you you know but at the end of the day whether it's this side or on a, in, in the kingdom the lord is gonna glorify you you know, and he's going to, he's going to make, uh, your name, you know, incorruptible, you know, something that nobody can take away from you, you know, cause you'll have that everlasting life, that peace, that happiness, you know, and like I said, when I came into this truth with the brethren, you know what I'm saying? If I, Lord willing, if we are the elect, you know what I'm saying? Like that would be a, a beautiful thing to be up there and be able to, you know, be with the Akim, you know, in the kingdom and see that they're happy, you know, not having that like that. I should have, I should have uh, listened when I was in the, uh, the other kingdom or, or on this side, you know. Like while we out here to this day, you know, we try our best, you know, to be more spiritual, to do what Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah wants from us, you know. And, and when you do that, you know, like you shut your mouth, you know. what I'm saying if you do that, you know. 
Because that goes a long way. You know, the Lord is going to justify you and he's going to glorify you. You know, no matter what, what the circumstances is, you know, you be spiritual, not carnal. Uh, Romans 8 and 31. What shall we then say to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? So, like I said, like getting rebuked and trying to uh, do it on your own. You don't you showing that you don't have faith in the Lord, you know. You 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 try your best to do what he want, you know? Like and, and just sit back and let him do 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 what he's supposed to do, you know? Cause it's all according to his plan. You know, if you are the elect, you you gonna get it, you know. And this this video is only going out to the elect, not the two thirds or the people who don't um understand, you know, the the the, the they, they want to prosper in this society. This is not going to them. This is going to the the, the, the Akim. You know, it say, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, which is the elect, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Now, we also have to realize that Yahabashim Yahushua created everything in this earth, on this earth. You know, in this world, this universe, you know, everything in general, you know, he's in the total, complete tro control of everything, you know. So whether it's these women that you're going through, you know, whatever the case may be, the Lord is going to be able to give you that plus more, you know. You're going through money problems, like, don't worry about it, you know, have faith in the Lord and the Lord is going to deliver you, you know. I, I, I'm telling you that from, a, from my own, you know what I'm saying, the Lord, done, you know, bless me, you know. And 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 it's not for my personal glory, cause it's all praises to Yah by Sim Yahushua. But I I can testify, you know, that the Lord does, you know, look out for people that's trying to do the right thing, you know. Whether I'm of the elect, I don't know. I still gotta make sure that my calling is sure, you know. But at the same time, I'm trying to be more spiritual, and I'm giving all praises to Yah by Sim Yahushua, you know. But I'm gonna continue on, cause it's only a little bit more. Um, who is he that condemns? It is Yahweh Shah that died, yeah, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of the of Yahweh, who also makes intercession for us? You know, the Lord prays for us, you know. He wants us to, 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 to elect, you know what I'm saying, to get through those times, you know. It says, uh, who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shah? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Okay, so like I said, with being um spiritual, you know, we realize that nothing should be able to separate us from the Lord, you know. This is all spiritual. We try our best to be what Yah Bashim Yahweh Shah wants from us. You know? Um it don't matter what, what you're going through, what type of hell you're going through, you know what I'm saying, the tribulations, the distress, you know what I'm saying, you could be having baby mother problems, you know, uh, persecuting, you know, like brothers could be coming down on you hard, you know, you just trying to do the right thing, you know, you shut our mouth, you know, Not, that shouldn't stop, stop you from being uh, what the Lord wants from you, don't matter if you uh, didn't eat, you know, in a couple of days. You know, that shouldn't stop you because you said be spiritual to know that the Lord is going to feed you. You know, nakedness or pearl or sword, you know, don't matter if you got to die for this. You know what I'm saying? You should be spiritual to know that regardless of whatever, the Lord is going to watch out for you. Um, it is as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. So every day in America, that's Babylon, you know, we die every day, you know. Like this, that's how this society is, is is made up. The Lord is strengthening our spirits, you know, our souls, you know. Cause it, it, this this society is completely fucked up. It's safe for I mean, we are counted, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter, you know. So when we go out here, we, when when you come into this truth, you have to realize that, hey man, like you whether you die for this truth or do whatever, you know, whatever your purpose is. You know, the Lord is going to lead you down that path to what you're supposed to be doing. And, and we're uh, un unprofitable servants, you know, to Yahweh Shah.
nay and all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us Yahab, if you are the elect you know you in this 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 so this truth you know if you're going you, the, 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 you're going to conquer you know and the lord loves you you know and he's going to prove it you know if you you all you got to do is just continue to endure that's that's being spiritual is enduring everything you know keeping the with keeping the law you know yahweh yahweh endured that cross and that's something that we need to to also get through our minds you know the servant is not greater than the master it say for i am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh Shem Yahweh which is in Yahweh Shah, our Lord. So at the end of the day, when you, when you're spiritual, nothing is going to be able to separate you from 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 Yahweh Shem Yahweh You know. And and with that, I'm gonna give all praise to y'all, Basim Yawasha, and uh Salawam to all the Akim out there, you know, pushing and doing the works. And of course double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And um Salawam.